you were born to be a leader, and with this comes a tremendous amount of ambition, an incredible drive for success, and a highly intelligent mind. You can be a bit unconventional at times. You prefer to work alone most of the time because of the limitations you experience when having to work with others. Your great vision can be a strong motivator. A steady willpower will be required to pass the many tests that you will go through, especially after the age of 30. You've come here to make your mark on the world and the possibility of you accomplishing this is tremendous. One of your biggest challenges is having to commit to a routine. Your creativity requires variety and wide open spaces to run and play. At times you can be flexible and adaptable to the ideas of others. But once your mind is made up there is no going back. You can be impatient and prone to frustration and anger when things aren't moving as quickly as you'd like. You like to start projects, but you're not great in seeing them through to the end. You would prefer someone else do that. With the proper training and education you can run large organizations and big businesses. You're a risk taker, and your inventiveness is the key to your success. Financial success is extremely rewarding to you personally. Try to control that anger. Don't let it get out of hand. You are who you are and no one should ever try to change that. You can be very mothering and nurturing, but you can overdo it at times, as well. You carry with you a little secret that most people don't know about. You have a strong connection to the spirit realm, that is always providing you with important information. Because the people around you change so frequently, your opinions about them can change as well. This makes you appear a bit fickle in your close relationships. Your mind is sharp, aware and very much in tune with your immediate surroundings. Your life will be more rewarding if you connect to your spiritual gifts, but keep in mind that if you do this your life will require a certain amount of sacrifice for others. If you have children this will be especially true. You work hard and seem to stay busy most of the time. You prefer to keep your energy moving at all times. You like your freedom. You are very loyal to your work, and always want to do the best job possible. Marriage is always touch and go for you. Finding a good partner will always depend on whether or not you are able to find someone who can deal with your strong willpower, and your determination. Falling in love can be quite a challenge for you, because this requires that you give up some of your power. Unconditional love works best for you, but that is something that requires a lot of time to accomplish for most people. As they say, let go and let God. Because you were born under the astrological sign of Aquarius, you can be dependable, impartial, thoughtful, fair, selfless, loyal, independent, interested in others, strong-willed, open-minded, candid, observant, communicative, inventive, idealistic, individualistic, and perfect in every way. But you can also be unemotional, detached, secretive, dogmatic, antisocial, aloof, obstinate, eccentric, insensitive and unpredictable. Here are some suggestions on how you can bring positive change into your life. Treat others with dignity, don't be too original, be a team player, be compassionate towards others, be more interdependent, experience humility, be humble, truly care. Let your emotions out, learn be more bloody sensitive and for God's sake don't take others by surprise all the time. And most importantly, learn to love yourself and others unconditionally.